tutti. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we have uh, our home base is located in Hanover in Germany. I think we're playing together now like for like 10 years already. Got them. Are we all good? Uh, yeah. We kind of met and sat down in the rehearsal room and started playing and like what came out was like some sort of thrash metal and it was, was fun from day one and now we are here. <laughs> we we put out um, three records so far. Um, we uh, uh, already in the mixing process of uh, our fourth album, which will be released in November, on November 25th, and it will be called Hyena, so we're looking forward to that. And we just freshly signed to um, the record label Metal Blade, so that will be really exciting. It's, 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 kind, of, it's kind of cool because like, um, after we put out our last record, our bass player Basti left the band, and like um, this whole Hyena album is like, um, like the first stuff that we will put out um, in this current lineup. Um, and, like Gerrit is our bass player now for, for like for like two and a half years and he was he was there like from, from day one from the songwriting. And then like um, we sat down when we started songwriting and thought like well we we're doing this now like for, for a couple years so why don't we just record like four songs before we record the whole album. And uh, we called it a flirt demo. We wanted to look for like um, for like record labels and see what's out there for us. And um, even before we started, like like last year, we played the Metal Days Festival in Slovenia, um, and uh, a guy from from uh, Metal Blade saw us and he sent us an email, and then it just kind of grew together. It's so, like we did our demo, we did our four songs. They liked it. They signed us, and now we added like the rest of the songs. Um, and now we get like I think 11 songs, right? Yeah. 11 songs, and we're currently in the mixing process. So like, it's very funny. Like when we, um, as we as we got here, like in the van, we were listening like to the mixes and talking to the mixing guy. Like, yeah, it's very very exciting. Good songs. I have the feeling that this album is more <coughs> oriented than like, at least the last one. It's heavy shit. Yeah, heavy shit, heavy shit. Uh, yeah, but not that. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling that it's not exactly a thrash metal, the whole album, but there are thrash songs, but there are many, it's much better than thrash metal. <laughs> we, we were going with a with a stem fucking thrash metal for so long now, since our very beginning days, and uh, I now, I think we now found the, the fucking in that part. It's not that pure thrash, it's more fucking, right? It's fucking fresh. It's fu It's more fucking fresh. Before it was fucking fresh. Now it's yeah. fucking. Yeah. That is, is for what I came in the band. For yeah. More fucking. Yeah. yeah. So it's 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 more that part. Just don't limit it to it to a pure fresh metal. It's more. It's it's beyond that. It's the first time that you Yes. And how is it? It's awesome. I didn't have a chance to look around, but this whole area is. So different from other festivals, and we didn't know what to expect. I mean, like we we went on stage like 11:40 in the morning, and was, everyone was there. It was actually in the night for us, so we we just arrived here. Yeah, oh, I was sleeping in the hotel, so that was not that much. But um, yeah, the location is cool. The stage guys were cool. Uh, the song was great. The breakfast so beer was cool. The breakfast was great, and now after this interview and stuff, the beer will be great. The beer will be great. Yeah, we, uh, after beer. this interview, we'll check out the festival and see some bands and hang around. Yeah, so it was oh. difficult to, to play in the morning. No, it's not really difficult. It's just like you never know what to expect. Like if you, we, we've never played here before, so you you don't know like how how's the Czech audience like um, dealing with the morning hours. Like you, you just don't know. Um, but like I think we are very happy. We like gained some new territory. Like we had a signing session that was like for 20 minutes, but like people were coming in for like almost an hour. It was crazy. They like offered us to play. Um, one of the very first set, uh, slots on, on the main stage, so yeah, that's what we did. So it's just yes, it's awesome it's because we we always got that got this festival in mind and looked it up for years. So what? Well, this is a great lineup, and it develops over the years. So it becomes becomes better and better, and now we are part of it. That's you know fucking, fucking awesome. That's cool. So we just stay here for the whole weekend long. To, to get this other bands and 
cool. Yeah, I mean, this is this is basically why we do what we do, like to play in new places we've never been before, to talk to people that we've never met before, to meet old friends, um, and this is this is what keeps this whole thing going. Like, there's there's no like big money machinery behind that or so. Like, it's just like. We do it because we just it's what we love. It's only fucking. <laughs> it is. Not we spent. That was same with you. Wait, no. Uh, seriously, we we spent more minutes right there to to talk to the fans than on we stage. were on stage. Yeah, that's right. I mean, that's that's awesome. Everyone knows how it feels like if, if there is a song of your favorite band or of just any band that like really gets to you and that gives you something, then then you have to feel like, oh man, if, if I can create that feeling with my own song and give it to someone else, and just one person walks up to you and says, hey man, that was awesome, and then that's it pays off. That's that's why we do it. Tell me how is to have a girl like a singer or like a beta in the group? How is it? how it is. Yeah. The funny thing is, and I love you for that, it's the first time ever that I'm not asked how it how is it to be the girl in the band. It's the first time ever that one is asking. So guys tell me how is it to have a girl in the band? Probably it's more complaining about my stinky feet. <laughs> <laughs> I but I don't know. <laughs> Did you decide to have a uh, female singer or just... Uh... I was the third band member. Uh, yeah, we, we just took the first, the first singer. Who was the... To be honest, we got now a certain style that we found before we met Britta. So it was like, Jonathan and me was just like hanging around, did some riffing and shit. And there was not, there was kind of a song structure, yeah, but there was no, not a band. So we were just looking for another person who came in that fits to the group. It's more of a personal thing uh, before you're a band. And after that, we developed in forming a band with five different persons that come, comes together. And, you know, oh, I'm the same. It was <laughs> you are the same. I'm not different. Yeah. I had other bands, but uh, I think all of the other bands I had were uh, uh, male um, uh, musicians. Um, and so, um, but I don't have a feeling that uh, felt different uh, um, concerning that. Because, um, yeah, we're do, doing music together and we have friends and hang around kind of sometimes. <laughs> and yeah, and, you, and it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't really matter. No, makes uh, no sense if you're a female. As Britta said, uh, said uh, uh, at the beginning, we are doing this stuff for almost 10 years now together. Uh, 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 except Gerrit, but we uh, we knew him as a friend. Uh, so before he joined the band for years, and so. We know each other for 10 years now and you don't have a feeling that you are, that it's comparable or that, that there is a difference that makes something that's normal for us. So I think it's just one person is doesn't snore. I'm the only one who doesn't snore? Do you plan to have other shows around Europe this summer? For example, yes. next, next week we will traveling to the Metal Frenzy Festival that is in Germany, and afterwards we just uh, drive southwards to the Summer Breeze Festival, which is more, you know, it's more popular. And we are taking part on the Summer Breeze on Saturday, and uh, afterwards we are. We are we came to the Eindhoven Metal Meeting in Holland uh, uh, at the end of the year and between that time period we got more, more shows to come in like Austria no, ten, and... 10 shows left this year. 10 shows? 10 shows. Hey guys, uh, thank you for the interview. You're awesome. And I hope I will see you again. We'll see you again. Also with our own music. And good luck for everything. Thank you so much.